Welcome back to Stud Conscious. Stud Conscious. Okay. Wait, conscience. 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 Okay. Yeah, Stud Conscience. Or conscience. No shit, I forgot. Conscious. My phone? Stud Conscious. Conscience. Conscious is like your conscience. Because they both mean. Different. Conscious is like I'm aware. Wait. Yes, you're on the right channel, Bliss Uncensored. But we're doing a new segment. Yeah. What's it called? Stud Conscious. Stud Conscious. Stud Conscious is about us studs having awareness and knowledge and knowledge of a lot of <laughs> <laughs> learning new things about the LGBT community, having conversations about the LGBT community, um, interacting with you guys. If you guys are a part or allies of the LGBT community, we're just studs that are trying to be conscious and have some conversations so that's all we're trying to educate too at the same time okay? exactly and what's awesome about our channel which you don't see too often is i'm the older generation and she's I'm the younger. younger i'm the younger generation. i'm 22 and i'm 35 so we want to start off by doing this this q a mm -hmm. y'all asked the questions and we answered i got some screenshots right here when did you and brie first become best friends what year, what date, and what month? Oh shit, they want to be specific. <laughs> oh damn, it's like we dating, bitch. I, I was like, number one, I don't know any dates or anything like that. And she'll clarify if we're best friends or not. Like, uh, so, <laughs> this girl, why are you, why are you gonna be putting me on blast like that, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's like this. <laughs> well, we met at work. Yeah. I started there in January, this past January. Yeah, so. We started being cool quick. Right? Yeah. Real quick. Yeah, real fast, pretty much. As soon as she got on our shift, second shift, I was trying to be friends with her, I guess. Yeah, you were open right away. Yeah, I'm to pretty open. Things. And yeah. I'm open in general, too. So we just took a trip in February. So I would say, I would say March. February. March. No, February went to Florida. It was March. It was February, bitch. It was March. It was March. No. <laughs> it was March because it was the first week of March. And that's when we came back, then COVID-19 would start to take over. Was it? Yeah. All right, so I was she here on that time. She is not good with dates. I'm bad. She is not good with dates. <laughs> My memory's bad, too. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, it was March, and we did go on that trip in the beginning of the month. And then after that, it was just like, we're fucking friends. That's it. We're yeah. friends. We're friends. Because like, it. if you go on a trip, to get to talk to somebody <laughs> and not really get too fucking annoyed with someone then and not only that i mean yeah. girl mm. we live together right now mm. yeah <laughs> we live together i don't think we said that either yeah i don't think they know no so yeah we live together um i live in the basement and then she this is this is your house her house do we want to like explain more into why we live together or what we, we can. Or we... They were asking. Oh, yeah? Okay, and then okay. go ahead and tell them. I don't know they who been, the fuck banned. They asking. was asking. Also, a question was like, you and Pris. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Yeah. It just led to the next question. It leads to, that's pretty much another question they have for you, so. So they asked me about my marriage. Yeah. And some people asked about my divorce. <laughs> so. Oh, I didn't know that. I am not divorced yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, my marriage has failed. Pretty much, if y'all followed us on our vlog channel, it was Bliss and Pris. We did that for like two years. And I don't know, we were together for five years. Got married recently and just did not work out. It was just done. So I am single. I am single. S been single since January. How about you? And ready to mingle. I'm single. <laughs> Super ready to mingle. Very free person. So if you guys wanna Hit me up on my Instagram if y'all live in Chicago area. They ask, how tall are we? Oh yeah, I'm 5'9". I'm 5'4". <laughs> yeah, there's Damn. definitely a height difference between us. For sure. I be looking up a lot, that's for sure. When okay, I this her. one thing that I do have a type is that I would like my girl to be shorter than me. That's a lot of girls. A lot of girls are shorter than you. Yeah, that's why it's good. It's so a, you're lot, good. a lot of options. I would like for my girl to be my, my height or a little bit shorter too. And that's, I feel like for some reason, I thought that was hard for her. I was like, isn't that hard because you're so short already? But it's not. It's not. I'm into Latinas more than anything else. 
and they're always short. And um, I really like Latinos too, so if you guys want to hear my line. She does. She ain't lying. <laughs> she can dance to that Latin music too, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> Next question. Next question. What is one thing you dislike about each other? Oh, shit. Let's get real. Okay. You can go first. Oh, are you going to put me in the spot? Yeah, oh, I want to hear damn. what you're going to say first. <laughs> Okay, what I dislike, what I dislike. Come on. You already got something. Look at she already got something for my ass. <laughs> Shit. It's not like a really dislike. It's yeah. just something that kind of bothers me sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I know someone else, one of my other friends also has this issue that I have. And I've told both of y'all. I told both of them oh, what is it? that I always feel like they're not on my side. Mm. I always feel like every time <laughs> a subject comes up or a topic comes up. It's like they always gotta be the opposite of, and I'm, I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. I'm open to an open conversation, Yeah. but it just seems like every single thing, it's like they think the opposite. It's like they wanna argue with me or something. I don't know. It ain't even like that. <laughs> that. I'm sensitive too, so I don't know. I don't ever be thinking like that, but you know, from everyone's perspective, it's different. <laughs> so I don't even gonna comment on that. <laughs> Mine is, so sometimes we'll have conversations. Oh shit. And we'll be talking, and maybe we don't agree. You'll ask me questions like, but "What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Like all oh, three, like three mm -hmm. different, yep. three different questions, like, bow, 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 bow. and I just yep. be feeling That's so, me. I be feeling so overwhelmed. <laughs> I be like, oh, I don't even have time to think about the first question you just asked me. That is, that's, that's so right. I ain't gonna lie, that's something that I do do. You guys get straight to the point, like you guys skip all the details. I need to know all the details. Oh, really? That's why I ask so many questions. See, I never even thought about it like that. Yeah, but I don't know. That's really it. Oh, that's not bad. That's really nothing. It ain't shit. Nothing else <laughs> What is your celebrity crush? Any, from any platform. I feel like my celebrity crush is just always changes. Like, I Gizmo. have- Gizmo. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me take this toy away from him. <laughs> I'll be having TikTok crush, Instagram crush, celebrity crush. Damn. Uh, fucking Snapchat crush. Damn. Like, I got a crush on every fucking platform at this point. Kaylani is definitely a top one. Mm -hmm. You guys already know that. Shane Mitchell is definitely one of them. Like, Damn, you got a list. You yeah. got pages. Oh, yeah. Amber Heard. Oh, I have, like, so many different crushes. Uh, I have none. I guess I did have one mm -hmm. my whole life. That was Megan Fox, bitch. Megan Fox was sexy to me. Okay. Megan Fox. I sexy. watched Transformers so many times just to see Megan Fox. Mm. I think MTK is dating Megan yeah. Fox. They're together, bitch. Baby. Can you believe that? Are you are you serious? They're and together. this is apparently his first time being in love. Aww, I can see that happening. Who wouldn't should... fall in love with the bitch? Next question. Next question. A child Dorcas? Orcus, yeah. You hit us up with some questions too. So, what was the last time you broke someone's heart? I don't think I'm a heartbreaker. Girl, yes, you are. <laughs> you are a heartbreaker, bitch. I've only known you since January, and you broke hearts. Same. I feel Girl. like if they thought I broke their hearts, then they don't know what breaking hearts is. <laughs> so, I didn't break anybody. You didn't intentionally or purposely break their heart. There's a difference. Yeah. It was just time to move on. Yeah. That's all. It was time to move on. I feel when it comes to hearts being broken, I feel like both people, both parties get their heart broken. Even the one who's deciding to leave. Yeah. Like, that is some real shit you just right? said. Can you repeat what you just said? Mm. Can you no, because I don't even remember. Oh, she's, <laughs> My memory's bad. She said, and she feels like, and when it comes to broken hearts, it sometimes both hearts are broken. Even the one who decides to leave. Yes. Damn. <laughs> That's Facts. a quote. Uh, quotes. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, <laughs> she just taught me some shit right there. Because, <laughs> yes, that shit hurts even when you know you have to say goodbye. And you know that person's a good person, but it's either like, it's not the right time. Yeah. You're in a different headspace. You're yeah. in a different time in your life. Yep. Just is what it is. Oh, someone said Bree's so cute. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Benny Brown. Bree's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. What's your profession? What do we oh, do, bitch? Okay, so. What's our job? <laughs> what is our job? Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we um work in a hospital. Mm. Essential worker bitches, Essential okay? Essential workers. <laughs> we're we're considered heroes. So yeah, we're something called like sterile processing technicians, prepping, um, instrumentizing, sterilizing. Decontaminating. Decontaminating all the instruments that are used before surgery and just making sure everything's put together, the material's there, in a perfectly wrapped in a bow 
case cart just for you okay to have a safe and sound surgery so mm. that's what we do and damn you said that shit perfect i'll remember the fucking definition of the book. <laughs> i also do photography i'm currently about to work at 7-eleven and i'm so I'm um, two jobs. I know I'm about to have two jobs. And well, she's doing subconscious too. And I'm doing subconscious. I, on the other hand, in my 20s, I used to do music, but now currently, as y'all already know, I'm doing YouTube. So this is my my creativity here. Yeah, exactly. So we're both creative human beings. Mm -hmm. Next question. Next question. Is bliss dating? Okay, let's make this question for both of us. Am I dating? <laughs> um, yes and no. I do a lot of talking to people. I haven't found anyone that I wanted to consistently date and see and go out with or spend a lot of quality time with. I haven't found that yet. I'm looking for that. I want that. Um, also find myself feeling bad to even be dating someone just because I know that I have goals mm -hmm. that I can't be putting a lot of time into another person. Makes sense. So honestly, on some real shit, lately I've just been trying to find a consistent one person to have hookups with. I'm not even a lot. Oh shit! Like I mean, that's and just, there is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's just facts. But obviously, mm. I want to be safe. But and obviously, I want them to be someone I actually like having around. But like, I don't want to have to feel like I have to tend to them all the time because I know I have my own stuff to do. So I don't. I wouldn't mind to be dating someone, but I don't think I really have the time to be dating someone. That's just me right now. You have other priorities right now. Yeah. I'm just but being honest, y'all. I can't wait to hear what y'all got to say in the comments below. Mm. But please comment about it. I want to know comment. what y'all think. Am I dating? Um. Oh. I just want to can't wait to hear her response. Next question. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are studs studs? Why do they not like to be touched? Is that a guy? Or no? Nah. It's Felicia. Hello, hello Felicia. Hello, Felicia. <laughs> First off, every stud is different. Yeah. Okay? Just because we're, we're categorized as studs does not mean we like the same shit. I know there's studs that do like being touched and do not give a fuck. <laughs> and they could get fingered and penetrated all day long. Like, uh -huh. they don't care. Um, personally, at the moment, I'm not saying that's not gonna change. Maybe I'll meet someone that can change my mind. Mm, mm. But so it takes. <laughs> I do not really, for the most part, don't like being penetrated. It's not that I don't completely don't like it. It's because a lot of the girls that I've been with are really feminine, bottom type girls. Ah, okay. And also, I think I've been with at least one person or two people who wanted to. I just find it uncomfortable and I'm just scared people are just gonna mess up and I just don't even wanna, I know what I like initially and it's almost mm. like I don't have time for you to mess up right now unless I'm comfortable with you enough that we can like be messing up and you could tell me and I could tell you like, hey, let's do this and let's do that. Let's try this or I like it like this, but mm. I just haven't been in a situation in a long time where we've been having sex enough to start or tell someone what they like and what they don't like and how to please them Okay. in the right way. Well, <laughs> I'm that stud that likes to do everything <laughs> and likes everything to be done to me. Because okay? in reality, you are naked. You are like very feminine woman. I mean, not, yeah, I'm no. talking about every woman, mm -hmm. every, every person. And interesting enough, I love feminine women. So these feminine women could get down in the bedroom as well and they'd be taking charge, which is what I like. Cause I, you know, <laughs> girl. I haven't had as many sexual partners as Carol, so. Excuse me, <laughs> hold on, calm down killer. Okay, I'm gonna be older saying, does not mean I've had a lot of sex I've partners. I'm just saying cause she's <laughs> older. I don't know how many bodies she has. I don't know her body count, uh, but I'm just saying like. I'll tell you right now. Fuck, okay. <laughs> okay, my three relationships that I've had. Right and my one night stand okay and i would say two people that i two people that i dated but it wasn't we weren't so sexual okay i mean we we, we had sex every now and then but not like that so how many is that so, that's five. six damn we were really we got the same amount that's what i told you girl you're only 22 imagine when you hit 35 you're gonna hit bodies <laughs> what makes you happy what that's makes me happy is my friends hang on one second though 
Uh, I want to shout this person out because you went hard with lots of questions. Uh, yeah. D Willia 330. Thank you so much for all these questions. We see you. Thank you, girl. <laughs> um, what makes me happy is my friends. Just like supportive people, people who are positive around me, like Bliss, like for example, like if I come to her with an idea, she's never gonna like be jealous, envious. She's never gonna like look at me like I'm fucking crazy. And even if, even if it was a crazy idea, she'd be like, wow, girl, well, you better <laughs> go ahead and try it out. You know what I'm saying? I get hyped up like, about it. No one is like, she's not gonna try to like hold me back mentally mm -hmm. or anything like that. So like, I'm really blessed to be like living here and in a space where my creativity is like, honestly blossoming like i feel like Aww. if i wasn't oh that was nice if i wasn't <laughs> around her right now i would not be doing some of the stuff Aww. that i'm doing right now so that's what's up that's just like 100 percent facts so i'm also a dreamer so it's like nothing's impossible if you haven't reached your goals because you chose not to do it not everything is in like hands reach like it's yeah. right there you can just reach it exactly so especially with Bree's mentality is like she I consider you a dreamer as well. Yeah, I am. But you you also work towards it. Yeah, I'm not just like, oh, I wish I could do this. Like, there's mm -hmm. steps to that. So what makes me happy is I don't believe in a happy life. Like, I don't believe in that. I believe in ha happy moments, mm -hmm. happy times, happy days. I do have my happy moments, for yeah. sure. So what makes me happy? Honestly, being alive. Being alive and well. And yeah. ha having loved ones around pretty much it. I'm happy you're alive and well. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Oh, I boy. love these questions. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Like, thank you for actually, like, responding to us. Like, I really appreciate that. Thanks. I really like this person that asked all these questions. Dewilia? Mm-hmm. She said, do you know your purpose? She has some good girl, questions, can bitch. Can we go to her Instagram? I like it. Let me go, let me go to their Instagram. Oh, There wow. ain't no face to you, but, wow. like, but D, thank you for thank these questions. You. These are awesome questions. What do you think your purpose is? So right now in my life, I'm getting closer to God and I'm getting closer to myself. Like when you get closer to God, in my opinion, you get closer to yourself. Mm. In certain parts of my life, God shows me my purpose and in instances. And I know that it's to help people, um, yeah. but I think I'm in the season to help myself so then I can help others later. Mm. I always think of me working hard real, right now so I can bless everybody that ever blessed me and then bless even more people after oh, that. Facts. Like that's what my purpose is in life. Time seven. Yeah. I'm the same way God. God, God is the reason why I am here, mm -hmm. why I am still alive. But God is also, has shown me struggle has shown me troubles so I can better understand people, I feel like. And because of that, I want to help and I have empathy and I have all that. And yeah. with this YouTube channel, if you guys see my videos and what I stand for, it's, it's pretty much to always speak your mind, your thoughts, because your voice does matter. Yeah. And also, I talk about mental health a lot. So I always want everyone who's struggling with depression and anxiety to know that you not, you are not alone, that we are here to help. So I, think, I feel like that's my purpose as well, is to help people. Yes, she helps me every day. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's, man, these questions are nice. I love these questions. Mm. It's, I love these questions and I feel like you guys are asking it to the right people because we are going to answer these questions. Uh, and we're deep, okay? Yeah. We're some deep thinkers. Yes. Let's see. What are your birthdays? Uh, my birthday is June 10th, 1998. 98? That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God, I feel old. I'm a Gemini. Oh, she got two personalities to her and she really does. She really <laughs> fucking does. <laughs> okay. Um, mine's March 11th, 1985. Okay. So I'm a fish. I'm a Pisces. So what you guys think about this q and I love that. I can't wait to come back a couple months from now and do it again. Because uh, I, things, will, things will change. For sure. So I would love to hear your questions as you guys get to know us more. Definitely. You guys, thank you so much for asking Thanks. those questions. And by the way, comment below and let us know what other videos you want to see from us. Yes. What do you want to see from us? Like... What's gonna tickle you just right? No, just you know, in any type of way. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time we upload. 
okay? Start conscious. Start conscious. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah, aware of and responding to one's surroundings. Awake. Okay, okay. Having knowledge of something. Okay, aware. start conscious. Start conscious.